Yeah, welcome to my channel. My name is Gloria, and today we're going to be talking about working as a nurse abroad. Are you a nurse? Do you want to be a nurse, or do you know someone who is a nurse? Then stay tuned, watch this video, watch to the end, subscribe, and comment down below. Request more videos about nursing, nursing job, family, whatever question you have about nursing abroad. Today we're going to be talking about working as a nurse in the United Kingdom. First of all, disclaimer, I am not a recruitment agent. I was not sponsored by anybody. I'm only making this video to assist people who have the aspiration of traveling abroad because when I decided to travel some years back, I was searching and searching and searching for information. And as if I had known what I know today, believe me, I wouldn't have taken some steps that I made that I took back then. So that's why I'm making this video to help people and to guide and direct people just from my own first-hand sincere experience. So now let's get to business. Before we go on, please like, subscribe, stay tuned to this channel because I'm going to be sharing my experience in the United Kingdom, in the United Arab Emirates, which is the UAE, Dubai wherever and the environment where I've worked outside my own country, Nigeria. So now let's get to business. First of all, working abroad, the first and the most important thing is you have to make up your mind. That is the first step. Make up your mind, decide that yes, I'm ready to relocate, I'm ready to travel and there's no going back. Or even if you decide that, okay, I just want to give it a try. Most time I used to advise people to travel out, go with your leave. But in some country or in some cases, it's not applicable. Just make up your mind. That is the first and most important step. We are ready to take decision. We are ready to take steps. You're ready to take risk. Then you're just going to achieve it. So after you've made up your mind, gather information. That is one of the reasons why I'm making this video. Go online, research, check videos, read, ask questions, ask people who you know have been in. Whichever country you have decided to go, it can be anywhere in this world. Make sure you have enough information. Ask about how it is, the registration is, the exams you need to write, the processing, the visa. Is it family friendly, especially if you're married and you've got family? What are the advantages and disadvantages? What do I have to lose? Those are the research and the things you need to do before you, yes, decide to carry your bag and apply to go to any country. Okay, after you've decided that yes, you're moving on, you've gathered your information, the part, decide which part of the country you want to go. For instance, you want to come to the United Kingdom. Decide which part of the United Kingdom you want to go because there are different places with different weather, different accents, different way of life, different food, different approach. So it's still the same. Like, you know what I'm talking about? It's the same nursing, it's the same process, but there are little things which are not the same. Yes. Now that you've decided, you've known which part of the country you want to go, uh, which part of the United Kingdom you want to come to, then the first and the most difficult part of it is the English exams. This part it is the part where people get stuck like years and years and years. You can either take IELTS, OET, those are the two English exam that has been approved and has been accepted in the United Kingdom. I'm going to make another separate video on which of the exam I think is better, which other IELTS or OET, but that is from my own personal experience. Some people just, they don't have, they're just good at, you know, when you can speak good English now, unlike us. So well, once you've gotten your English exam, yes, you've passed your English, you've, if it is the OET, then you need the B's. If it is IELTS, you need the seven points. So, but we're going to talk about that in a separate video. Pass your English exam. Once that is done, then yes, you will. You can move to the next step, which is finding an agent. Um, so I, I'm not going to mention the name of the agent I used to come to the United Kingdom, but comment in the comment section below if you want to know the agent I used because I was not sponsored by them to make this video. I'm still going to make a separate video about them because they are really reliable, they are free, they, they won't charge you. And note, if any agent is asking you for money to process your traveling, then you know it is not genuine. 
If you're interested in the agent I used, just drop a comment below. I'm going to get, give you their contacts. I'm going to explain to you how I went through my, or I will make a separate video about them. They are very reliable. They don't charge you. They don't take any money from you. Whatever money you're going to pay for your process, you're paying it direct. And it is just two or three places where you pay money for your exams and you pay directly into those uh, examination body. You don't need to pay anybody to come to the UK. Anybody that is asking you for money is a scam. Right? Then after that, they are going to direct you on how to register online, how to register and open um, a personal account or a personal page where your process from registration up to the time you get your PIN and everything will be. And that is what you use until you leave the United Kingdom where you further your career out of nothing. So once you, they will direct on how to open the Once you've uh, registered and you've created your own account, you can book for CBT. CBT is a computer-based test. It is an exam you write in your own country or whatever country you are at the time of registration. When I did my CBT, I was not in Nigeria actually. So you can do it from whatever country you are. It is very easy. The agent I used, they forwarded um, documents and exams, more questions, just sample questions, and they really helped me. If you want a separate video about that also, I can explain. The new system has been put to place where you don't need to send your document by Korea to the United Kingdom. All the verification are done online. And it is more and more easier and make less expensive. It's making life easy for a lot of people. So once your documentation has been done, your verification has been done online, whatever agent you're using or if you're doing it yourself, then that's a different thing. But it is easy to go through. Once the verification is done and all your document is completed, the uh, nursing council in the United Kingdom will mail you and tell you that yes, your, your documents are complete, your, your CBT is already in place and then you're free or you can move on to the second stage or you can come to sit for the second stage of the processing, which is the OSCE. That you have to come to the United Kingdom to do. Once it is, you've, you've, you've gotten that letter, that is what we call your decision letter. Once you've gotten your decision letter, then yes, things start speeding up like you're excited, things are almost in place, you get your decision letter then, because it can be then be used to apply for your certificate of sponsorship. At this point, you will need an employer. The agent I used, I arrange an employer for me. They do online interview, Skype interview. You can get a job in the home care or um, NHS, wherever you want. They will arrange an interview for you and you get your employer. There are lots and lots and lots and thousands of jobs in the United Kingdom. Generally, the world is in need of nurses. So getting a job is not going to be a problem. Yes, definitely. So once uh, you've gotten an employer, which they will arrange for you after your Once you've gotten an employer, it is an employer who will apply for certificate of sponsorship for you. The certificate of sponsorship is that, that it's the one that can, you can use to apply for your visa. So the certificate of sponsorship is to say that yes, you've gotten a job, the employer is going to be responsible for you, and that yes, you're going to come into the country legally. So once you've gotten your certificate of sponsorship, they're going to use it to apply for your visa from the home office. So once your visa is applied, and certificate of sponsorship, most employers will pay for it. You don't need to bother about that. The only area where you pay is when you pay for registration, you pay some dollars, just a few, not so much. When you pay for your registration, then you pay for your uh, CBT yourself. Those payments, I will do other videos about them anyway. So once you've gotten your certificate of sponsorship, sponsorship rather, then you, your visa can be applied. Once your visa is applied, then yes, you're good to go. They'll ask you for a few documents. If you're, there's some countries where you need to do tuberculosis tests, some few investigations from accredited hospitals that will be sent to you. But there are some countries like the UAE, European countries, where you don't need to do those tests because you must have done it in those countries. Once uh, those tests are true and there's no problem, your visa will be issued, which is going to be a tier two visa. Yes. <laughs> so at this point, everybody is happy. You're about to come to the United Kingdom and you're about to start a new life. So when your visa is ready, you have just one month to get to the country. Within that one month, you should be ready and on your way. So I'm going to make another video about things to pack, when you're coming, whatever the season is, the pain. If you need to get your jacket, if you need to get your just your shirt, the food, everything you need. From my own experience, I'll be making another video about that. So when your visa is ready, you have one month to get into the country before it expires. 
So once you're in the country, the, your, your employer, definitely most employer, the agent that you use, they will make sure they give you a very good employer that will be able to sponsor your exam, your second stage of uh, OSCE, which is also very important. You will have a lot of practice, a lot of um, tutorials, you will go for trainings to sit for the exam, which is the practical aspect of the exams, which is the one that will help you to be licensed. Once you've done the exam, OSCE is another separate, separate story. I'm not going to be able to explain all these uh, steps in detail because it's going to take a lot of the time. But if you request, just comment down below and I will do the next video you request. I'm going to do the video for you. So when the OSCE is done, then yes, you're registered. You're going to get your PIN. You can get your OSCE results today. Apply for your PIN today. The PIN is just like the licensing. That's what makes you to be like a nurse in the United Kingdom. So once you've gotten your pain, yes, the next day you can get your pain after your OSCE exam, after you've passed. So once you've gotten your pain, you can practice as a nurse. When, we, when you came to come to the UK, you have we have few months to prepare for the exams. And um, within those months, you're going to be working. You're not going to be working as a registered nurse. You're still going to be working in the in the place at the hospital, the care home where you you are employed, but on a different level. But you're going to be getting paid but because you're not registered you're not going to be fully like a licensed registered nurse you're not going to be practicing as a licensed nurse that is a separate thing like detail it's just few like few months some within one two three months they've gotten their pain and yes they're good to go then you're settled you start your work and that's it you're registered nurse you just that's it it's just as simple and as cheap as that is just the information if you don't have the information that is where the problem is for more videos I don't want to take your time subscribe like and I'm going to be dropping more information to you about accommodation how to bring your family um, condition life here uh, the food everything whatever it is you want to know thank you for watching thank you bye